our next document is chain register. Now look at the word chain register. What is it? It is a register for chains, wires, ropes, your lifting appliances, derricks or cranes. Right? Now what is the other name for chain register? This is very important question which is regularly asked in second week orals. The other name for chain register is, it is what? It is register of lifting appliances and items of loose gear. Also, this register is also known as Form 99. So, two names are there. One is the register of lifting appliances and items of loose gear or Form 99. So, these are the other names for your chain register. Now, what does this register contain? This register contains the tests, in, uh, examinations and inspections of your chains, wires, ropes, your lifting appliances, derricks or cranes. Okay, based on what? Based on the requirements which are laid under your ILO convention number 152 and the recommendation number 160. So there are few regulations which are laid down under the ILO convention number 152 and recommendation number 160. Based on this, uh, your test examination and inspections have to be carried out. Now who carries this test inspections and uh, uh, examinations? This is done by a competent person who is acceptable by the competent authority. So let's see for the why are we doing this? Okay, why do when you have a chain register on board, what purpose is it solving? This is to ensure that the ship's lifting appliances and items of loose gear are in safe working order. Okay, and are initially certified by the competent person. Who is this competent person? The competent person is a person who has sufficient knowledge and experience of carrying out these test examinations and inspections in accordance with the regulations or the requirements which are laid down under the ILO convention number 152 and the recommendation number 160. Okay, This competent person has uh, all, uh, needs to be acceptable by the competent authority. So that is the competent person for you. And also we want to establish that periodically uh, that they continue to be in safe working order. These instruments uh, need to be in safe working order periodically also. So who, uh, periodically annual uh, testing uh, goes on, Okay, annual examinations, inspections goes on, by, uh, which is done by the competent person. So to the satisfaction of the competent person who is acceptable by the competent authority. So this is just a basic introduction to chain register. We'll be further looking into some more important questions with respect to chain register. Another important question, who is a competent authority? Now, competent authority is what? It is a, uh, it may be a minister or a government department or uh, any other authority who, who has the power to bring in regulations or give instructions or orders which can be brought into force with the help of law. So that is a competent authority. Okay. And a competent person, what does a competent person do? He follows the, these regulations orders from the competent authority and does the work accordingly of carrying out the test examinations and inspections. Okay. So that is about competent authority. So moving on to next two important questions, which are regularly asked is who issues the chain register? and who issues the certificates under them. So uh, in order to answer these questions, you need to know the working order of the chain register who, and you'll, uh, by this you'll be knowing who issues it. So the working order is that for every uh, li uh, lifting appliances and items of loose gear, the testing, examination and inspection is carried out. Now this is done by the competent person. Now, what does a competent person do? This competent person will supervise and witness the testing and shall thoroughly examine that uh, it is in accordance with the national law or regulations. So the national law and regulations, whatever the requirements are there under them, your uh, procedures which are carried out for testing, examinations and inspections shall be in accordance with that. Okay. And upon satisfactory completion of these procedures, once the competent person is satisfied, he is the one who shall complete and issue the register. When I talk about the register, it is the chain register. He shall complete and issue the chain register and attach the appropriate certificates of these lifting appliances and items of loose gear. So for every uh, lifting appliances and items of loose gear, a certificate would be issued. Okay. And an entry shall be made in part one of the register. 
So this is the procedure how it is done and it is the competent person who issues the chain register or, and also the certificates under them. So this is the answer to these two questions. So moving on to the contents of chain register. Now the contents of chain register are as follows. First and foremost we have form number one. Form number one includes the identity of the national authority or the competent organization whichever is there. Part one is thorough examination of lifting appliances and loose gear. Part two includes regular inspections of loose gear. Then comes the certification certificates. These are the certificates under your chain register. Form number two is certificate of test and thorough examination of lifting appliances. Form number 2U is certificate of test and thorough examination of derricks used in union purchases. Form number 3 is certificate of test and thorough examination of loose gear. Form number 4 is certificate of test and thorough examination of wire rope. So these are the certificates and this is all the content under the chain register.